Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. So this weekend we have kind of a crazy weekend. Uh, first off it's Easter and then Shay's birthday, my youngest daughter, her birthday is next week. So the only time we could have her birthday party was on Saturday. So we're gonna do that on Saturday. And then my mother's birthday party, or not birthday party, my mother's birthday is on Friday, which is the day that this video is going to be released. So happy birthday, mom. Uh, I love you. She is coming Saturday morning to hang out with us for Shay's birthday party and Easter. So anyway, I have a busy weekend and I wanna get a bunch of stuff in the garden done this week so that I can enjoy time with my family and everything like that. So what my plans are for this week, so surprisingly, we have the weirdest weather. We had that horrible windstorm um, last weekend and then now during the week, our lows are getting down to the 30s. Last night it was 35 degrees, which was shocking. I, I didn't even realize it was gonna be 35 degrees. There was frost on my neighbor's uh, roof right there. And so I woke up and looked outside and went, oh my gosh, um, you know, how are my bougainvillea? How are my tiny tomatoes? Everything was fine, but we're gonna have another night of it being like 35, 36. So I think I'm gonna take my micro dwarf tomatoes and put them in the greenhouse for this evening just to protect them. So I need to do that today. And then I was going to plant out some of my cut flowers from my cut flower garden, those seedlings, but I, I don't wanna do that today if it's gonna get that cold tonight. So I'm gonna push that off for another day. So I think today I'm going to come and I'm finally gonna transplant this ostrich fern. And then I also have two hostas, let's see, one, uh, one, two right there that I planted when I thought that this garden bed was shadier than it actually was. I wanna transplant those three things up to my front porch where I know it's shade. And I think that they'll be a lot happier once it gets hotter during the summer. So that's my plan for today. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys that I didn't even notice until just I walked out here right now with that horrible windstorm that we had, I heard this old greenhouse rustling, but I didn't even think to come out and check it, and the whole cover got ripped off. So um, funny enough, we actually have a replacement cover that I bought. Um, this, is, this is my first greenhouse that I purchased, and um, I really didn't like it. I wasn't happy with it, and I ended up buying a replacement cover just because I knew it was like gonna get damaged at some point, and I was so worried that it was gonna get damaged when I had all my seedlings in there. So I have an extra cover for this stored in my garage, and then it had been fine. You know, both of the doors broke, and um, I stopped storing anything in there other than, you know, like the lawnmower and stuff like that. So I do have another cover so that Jason and I will probably put that on. We won't put it on today. Uh, he's busy today. Um, but I just thought that that was so funny that that was another thing that happened. And, you know, a couple years ago when I was using this greenhouse as my primary greenhouse, that would have been a big deal. <laughs> and luckily it's just not a big deal now. Let me slowly turn you guys around because that is the primary greenhouse that I use these days. And that one was totally fine in the wind. It shifted, we don't have that one bolted down. So it did shift a couple inches, um, but mostly it was it was totally fine. Everything was perfectly fine in there. Um, so yeah, so that's my plan for today. I just wanna get these shade plants. Okay, I have three hostas. Let me turn around and show it to you guys. Okay, I have one hosta, two hosta, and then I see three, and then I even see one more, <laughs> four. I don't remember planting those, but okay, so I have four hostas I need to transplant. Um, I think that these are starting to get a little bit eaten by um, earwigs, so I need to bait for those. And then I have this beautiful ostrich fern that um, just gets fried in the hot afternoon sun once it gets towards summer. So I wanna go ahead and I wanna move that as well. And hopefully it survives the transplant okay. And then one more thing before I get started, I wanna show you guys. Over here, I planted Schubertii alliums and they're starting to bloom. Let me show you this one, it's beautiful. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I've never grown these before, so I am absolutely in love with them. Look at how good they look. So they didn't get very tall. They're probably only 12 inches tall, I would say. Maybe that one is a little bit taller, um, but they're so pretty, I don't even care. So my plan is, is to dry these 
and then, you know, save them, put them, you know, in a vase or something inside. I only have four blooming at this point and I planted four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I planted 13, 12 or 13 of them. So those are the only ones that I even see bloom stalks on, but obviously I'll just leave them. And then these three are bobo hydrangeas that are starting to leaf out and look really good. And then I have my beautiful clematis. And I posted on Instagram a video of this clematis asking anybody if they knew the name of it. And the overwhelming uh, agreement was that it was a clematis montana. So I'm gonna go with that one. Um, and they said that I don't even have to prune it, which is great because I never prune it anyway. So let's get going with transplanting these plants. So I am up here by my front door. I've got all the hostas and the ostrich fern out of the backyard, um, brought them up here. I am underneath the front porch kind of shade area, um, covered area. So this is definitely full shade. I don't, it does get some morning sun, but I don't know exactly how much. And I think I need to do that hourly thing where I keep track just to see exactly how much sun this area gets, but my shade plants thrive here. So I do have two bleeding hearts that I planted earlier this year. You can't even see them because they are not growing. And I've never grown bleeding hearts before, so I don't know if it's just too early. They're not dead. I see little shoots, um, you know, like little starter shoots on them. So I'm just gonna leave them and plant around them. I also have, to show you guys, um, spider plants here, which is normally an uh, indoor plant. It's normally a house plant. Um, I got these actually from my grandfather's garden. He pulled up some of the babies and gave them to me. Um, so it's normally a house plant, but here in our zone, if we have them in like a protected area, they actually will survive and they'll be fine. And this one's really happy. It already has the babies, um, but I just pull the babies and trash them because I don't I don't need any more spider plants. <laughs> so, um, so I'm gonna leave those in there and then I think I'm just gonna fit the hostas and the ostrich fern wherever I can in this bed. I would love for this bed to be, um, you know, one of those shade beds that have all different colors of green, uh, variegation green and, you know, and the whites and the limey green and all that. I think it would be so beautiful right here. So um, I know I have some white and green hostas somewhere in my yard. I don't remember where I planted them, but I know I bought them. <laughs> so I just have to wait till they come up and then maybe I can transplant them into this area as well. So yeah, so I'm just gonna get these plants into this bed right now. Oh, 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 oh,
another pasta. Another hosta. <laughs> you guys, everywhere I dig, I'm finding another hosta. I think I found where I planted my white and <laughs> green hostas. <laughs> you know, I really need to write these things down. Okay, so I think that, so I am planting white and kind of chartreuse yellow hostas. I don't remember the name. Um, this one's named after a lady. Ooh, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. I think the ones that I'm digging up, I mean, they are, they're white and green. I don't remember the name of these either. I'll see if I can find them. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I'm gonna move the white and green ones over underneath the window box. I think I planted a couple of them, like four or five of them right here. So I think I'll move two over to the window box and I think they're smaller than the white and green ones. Um, I decided to start planting over here uh, on this side of my garden because I was afraid that it was gonna be too much of the same color over underneath the window box and I kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit. So that will be good to have the white and green ones um, and then also the the, yellow and green ones. I hope I'm making any sense at all. Basically, I want different colors of variegation of the hostas and I'm pretty sure these are it. So I will be moving this two of these over there and then I'll plant two of the um, green and yellow ones. I can't remember the name. It's a woman. It's definitely the name of a woman. <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry you guys. <laughs> done I was just cracking myself up <laughs> today everywhere I dug where I wanted to put a hosta there was already a hosta planted there. <laughs> I had just completely forgotten about it well not really because I knew that I had planted hostas somewhere in my garden I just didn't remember where and of course it's where I wanted to plant another hosta because that would be a good place for a hosta so I got all well the four hostas and the ostrich fern from the backyard garden where I think it's getting a little too much sun and I brought them up here to this little garden bed that I want to turn into like my all different color shades of green garden bed I think that will be really pretty and then I also planted them over here kind of along this north facing wall right there and so what I did is I'm trying to put some variety in um, I remembered one of them I dug up was that big blue version variety honestly I do have to say I think I planted all of these way too close together um, so I think I'm gonna have to adjust um, you know planting them but this is just an initial planting and I really don't mind moving things around it doesn't bother me especially hostas because they die back um, and that's you know if you remember where you put them it's a really good time to to transplant them so let me show you what I did I've got everything all cleaned up and uh, hosed off as well Okay, so here's this garden bed right by my front door and I took out all the violas because they were just kind of looking scraggly and just not very pretty. Um, so I took all of those out and I put the ostrich fern in right there. I put that hosta in, which I think is the blue daddy 
variety that's gonna get giant. So obviously that is too small for it, but it's gonna take a couple years to get giant. So I think I can leave that in that spot for maybe two more years. And then I remembered the name, it's Francis Williams is this hosta. And this one was like a really fast grower. Um, this hosta is only a year or two, maybe a year, one to two years old, I can't remember. Um, but I put that there. So this is dark green and like a chartreuse. This is kind of like a blue green. And then I put this one here and I looked up the name. This is a Hans Hosta. So it's green and white and kind of uh, wavy a little bit. So the three of them together, I think will look really pretty right there with the ferns and the spider plant. And this is actually a hydrangea that never really does too well. Um, I got this off the clearance rack and it was like almost dead. Um, but it just, it kind of gets smothered by this plant right here. So then I put, let's see, here's one, another Francis Williams. I moved a uh, cyclamen back there. Here's another Hans. And then these are Francis Williams right there. So I will just keep adding to my little fern slash hosta bed right there. I think it'll look really pretty. And then let me take you guys around over here. Sorry about the sun to shade difference. I have not finished pruning. So when I cut my finger the other day or last week, um, I got to about here and then this is where I cut my finger. And then you can see this is what happens if you don't prune the ivy. It gets just kind of messy. So I got to come in here and I got to do it. But I've just been putting it off just because I don't want to do hardcore pruning because <laughs> my finger is still not 100%. I'm, you know, I'm still wearing a Band-Aid on it and I still have, what are those things called, Steri strips to hold, hold it together. So right here is where I put my other hostas. I'm pretty sure these two are Francis Williams as well, but everywhere I was digging in here, I kept finding another hosta. So I have, it goes like this. It goes Francis Williams, Hans, Francis Williams, Hans, somewhere around here, and then one more Hans right there. Um, and this is a limelight prime, and this is a flowering maple back there. So that should look really pretty. Um, one thing I will say, these, things here this is vinca minor um and don't plant this in your in your yard <laughs> if you live in our zone uh they the previous owners had planted this as ground cover and it was all all over and so we pulled it all out and then i have to come in here so often and i just have to clean up the little pieces that you know they just keep coming up and so this is something that i'm constantly dealing with um, is this ground cover. I mean, it does its job. It covered the ground, which is what it needed to do. But oh my goodness, if it just, it just won't stop. It just won't stop growing. So, you know, I know I'm saying that as I have English Ivy right here, um, but I'm also not using this as ground cover. So I'm not too worried about that. These are Sarah Bernhardt peonies. I think they might be in a little too much shade, but they are starting to come. And I have one more right there. I think that's that one. Now I'm questioning myself as I'm looking at it. That doesn't look like one. I have one more somewhere. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am losing my mind. Oh, over here. <laughs> there it is. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry to be so out of it today. I feel like I'm not saying the right names or forgetting where I'm planting plants. It's just one of those days, <laughs> but that's okay. We're having fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it motivated you all to get into your garden and, you know, kind of just move things around, even if you forget where you put it. Um, yeah, so if you guys do celebrate Easter, I want to wish you all a very, very happy Easter this weekend. I, get, I hope you get some time with your family and I want to wish my mother a very happy birthday. I love you so much, mom. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.